Hi, welcome to this part, part 4 of AC104 Real Certification Questions. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. Please refer parts 1 to 3 of this playlist for previous questions. Let's jump into this one. So this question is simple. So there is a resource group and this resource group has resources. So you plan to delete the resource group. What should we do first out of four options? So, so if you inspect this resource or the list of resources, let us inspect this and see if there is a problem in any one of those. So what I see is there is a resource lock of type delete. So we all know like why do we have locks it is to protect your infrastructure from accidental deletes and modifications so these are called delete locks so always remember if your resource has a lock you have to first get rid of the lock so you have to get rid this is the thumb rule and this um screen you can take a screenshot this always remember as a thumb rule okay you have to get rid of your resource locks before deleting the resource groups so i see option b is the only one which talks about uh removing the resource lock and then it deletes all data in vault one okay this looks correct a is wrong because it is talking about modifying the resource lock type instead of uh, removing it so modification will not work because uh, modification to what either you have delete locks or read only locks so you cannot modify and make it read only the thumb rule is the lock should be removed before you delete the resource group so a is wrong so option c what it tells is it talks about turning off the vm and removing the resource lock now you might ask why b is correct and c is wrong because c also talks about removing the resource locks see the difference is b is going to delete all the data in the vault this vault because you will have to remove the data as well now turning off the vm the vm can get dropped turning it off vm does not have any data but the vault is having the data so you have to drop that first delete that so c is wrong and d is only trying to what it does is even though it tries to address the data dropping from the vault but uh, turning off the vm see vm turning off is is kind of not a necessity full necessity um, you are deleting the resource logs has the first priority and hence uh, d is wrong as well so this would be the final answer uh, it is very important that before you drop the resource groups you don't have locks so you get rid of the locks that is what this option is doing and now we had a choice to choose between options which is trying to address the vm1 or the vault we think addressing the vault is important because it has some backups of data we need to get rid of that also vms don't store any data so it is not a risk if we don't get rid of the data let us look at the next question so there is a dns zone a a datum.com and you want a subdomain with this name what should we do so here it is important to understand the difference between ns record ptr soa and a record so if you see this website a record is for like 
maps the domain names to IP4 addresses. So this question is not talking about IP addresses. So we can give option D a pass. Now SOA it provides important details about a DNS zone. So if you see option C, if we modify the SOA record, that means important details, but that will not help us delegate a subdomain. So C is wrong. If you see PTR, it helps resolve the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses to domain names. Again, the, this question is not mentioning anything about IP addresses. Hence, I will give it a pass. So that just leaves us with NS record. So if you see this documentation, NS, it provides a list of authoritative name servers responsible for the domain. Creating this record to delegate subdomain will be helpful. This would be my final answer. Let us look at this question. In the on-premises world, you have a folder. So this is the folder. You need to copy this to this a uh, public container in Azure storage account con to show data. So in the certification exam of Azure, any certifications, they use Contoso as the company and all the data are related to Contoso. That is a hypothetical organization. So if we want to copy from point A to point B, like point A is on Azure and point B is on, sorry, point A is on premises, okay? And point B is Azure. If you want to make this move, the thumb rule you should remember is use AZ copy. So when we go through the options, we should look for only AZ copy. So this is the documentation around AZ copy. So we know AZ copy we have to use. So A, we will mark it is wrong. A is wrong and d is also wrong okay so now both b and c they have az copy okay so which one to use so the difference between these two b and c is like one uses snapshot the other uses recursive what is the difference recursive so recursive will copy the entire folder it may contain various versions and etc. It will copy everything from point A that is on premises, this D folder, whatever is there, it will copy. Okay, and that is what we need. But snapshot, snapshots will copy a version only. So that means it will not copy everything that is there in D slash folders. It will copy a version and you will also have to give a date time like which version you want to copy our requirement here is um, to copy the entire folder it does not say you want to copy just a version and hence snapshot is wrong and this is correct so this would be my final answer please hit the subscribe and the like button this brings us to the end of part 4 See you in the next part.